You'll see I'm wearing an orange ribbon today because June is Gun Violence Awareness Month. And instead of trying to stop mass shootings, instead of working to protect Americans from gun violence, this committee now is advancing a bill that would make it easier for the next mass shooter to kill people. I mean, give me a break. We are considering it because Speaker McCarthy is trying to put down a far-right rebellion. So we will vote on a bill to make it easier to kill people. He has given away everything to a small group of radical Republicans who will continue to demand more and more from him, apparently now including letting them dictate exactly what bills come to the floor. You know, for five months, uh, Kevin McCarthy and House Republicans have given America nothing but chaos. And Congress opened with Republicans wasting nearly a week because they couldn't pick a speaker. Fifteen votes, almost five entire days. And during that time, Kevin McCarthy was making secret deals to secure power. Come to find out, he made some shady backroom agreements that weren't even written down on paper. We still don't know exactly what was agreed to in those meetings, but now we have a little bit of an idea. He was promising to push through extremist, unpopular, radical bills that were demanded by the most extreme, fringe members of the Republican conference. So here we are, five months later, and what have Republicans accomplished? They've enacted five laws. By the way, for comparison, when Democrats were in charge and Donald Trump, of all people, was president, we had enacted 21 laws. And Kevin McCarthy gave away the game last week. He said the debt ceiling bill is their biggest accomplishment to date. Let me repeat that. Their biggest achievement so far is ending a crisis that they created. What an achievement. Holding the economy hostage to jam through unpopular ideas that can't pass through regular order. And because of Democratic help and Democratic votes, President Biden prevented a default, and Democrats helped get the job done. And you would think that maybe after all of that, there would have been some come-to-Jesus moment in the Speaker's office. But there wasn't, because we are back to paralysis on the House floor. The first failed rule vote in over 20 years because the MAGA fringe that first hijacked the Republican Party has now decided to stage a revolt. Let me just say up front, this has nothing to do with my good friend, the chairman of this committee, uh, Mr. Cole, who I believe maintains the tradition of decency and decorum uh, in this hearing room and on the House floor. But it's about the dysfunction of the Republican conference under the failed leadership of this speaker. And so the People's House is frozen in limbo until Republicans can decide where their loyalty lies, with the American people who sent us here or with the far right that is holding them over a barrel and demanding, not asking, demanding, that we, that, that we do what they say. And let me be clear, I don't support the bills the, Re the Republican leadership is trying to bring to the floor, but this is a dangerous precedent, and it's an embarrassment to the House. My friends say, my friends, this is not democracy. This is not how this country should work, and this is certainly no way to govern this country. Now on to today's business. We are meeting to advance a dangerous bill to make firearm stabilizing braces widely available. Nine people outside a bar in Dayton in 2019. Ten people, including a police officer at a grocery store in Boulder in 2021. Five people in an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs in 2022. Six people, including children, at a school in Nashville just a few months ago, all killed by mass shooters with the help of stabilizing braces. And today, my Republican friends want to roll back regulations on stabilizing braces. They want to keep in place a loophole that makes it easier for people to make guns more dangerous. I'm disgusted. Our constituents are being slaughtered. And the craziest thing is this rule was inspired by guidance published under the Trump administration. Let me repeat that. The ATF under the Trump administration thought this was necessary and appropriate. And my Republican colleagues are so extreme and so obsessed and so afraid of the NRA that they are overturning common sense gun safety regulations that were originally uh, uh, developed under Trump. And just to be clear, the ATF rule they are trying to overturn does not even ban stabilizing braces. It simply properly regulates them. I get it. The bill's author owns a gun shop and makes millions from selling guns and gun accessories, including stabilizing braces. Sure sounds like a conflict of interest to me. I'll just close by asking, where are the moderate Republicans uh, uh, in this House? Are there any of them left? 
And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.